So this is the follow-on now for the East building EC2 VMs in AWS. So if you're on my channel, make sure you subscribe and you'll see it in the available videos. It's also in the same playlist. Um, if you just do build EC2 VMs into the search bar, you can see it here. So build your first EC2 instance. You can just click on there. You can do it with Vagrant. Oh, yeah. with... This is the one. This is the one to follow. And then we follow on from there. So get yourself sorted with a VM, then come back and do this one. So now we're going to be following on from the previous um, creating an EC2 instance in AWS. Uh, there's just a couple of things I wanted to add quickly. So every time you log into AWS, it will go to a default region. And if you've never logged in before, or, or this is the first time or second time, it's going to be set probably to North Virginia, the east, uh, US East. And we don't really want that because everything we're going to do for this course is going to be done in London. So what you can do is you can click on to your name and you can go to settings. Um, within settings, there's a default region. So let's just set this to London EU West 2. Save. And that should be it. So I think that's saved. Um, I'm going to change it again because I've just recently logged in. So if, if you log out and now you log back in again, you'll come straight away to your region, which is what you want. And let's go back to EC2. And there's my running instance. We've just created our virtual machine in AWS EC2. And if you shut it down and bring it back online again, then you generally have to come back here and find out what the IP address is because it changes. So for us, if you just come up to the connect button and then go to SSH client, then it will do it for you. It gives you the name, gives you everything you need. And then if you follow the same process what we did last time, where you go, you create a command line, uh, you do CMD within the download directory for, for Windows. Um, it may be a different directory if you're on Linux. Um, and then just put that in and you'll be back on the new server. So I'm using a different IP address now because I've shut down, changed my shirt. And the next step is to do the IAM setup. Come back to services. I've already put it in, but you can just do an IAM at the top. Basically, your access management, identity access management. So we click here, we get a new screen. So we've been through the screen to create the EC2 VM. And um, you get a bit of information here about the sort of MFA stuff. That's fair enough. Um, we haven't set ours up. Feel free to set this up. It's like an additional layer of security. Um, if you set the MFA up, you like get a Google Authenticator and you get a passcode to put in every time you want to log in as a root user. So I'm not doing that because we're just using it, this for a lab environment, but you're more than welcome to set that up, no problem at all. So for us, we're going to click on users. So users, and then click on add user. We're going to call ours just Terraform because we're going to use the credentials that we're going to get for this user. And you'll see this in a minute, this access key here, for a, it allows us to use an API to connect to AWS, our account in AWS. And then because we're going to have admin access, we'll be able to literally create more EC2 instances, update um, security groups, and a whole host of other stuff that we need. So just go to Terraform, make sure you click the access key, and then next for permissions. So um, we're going to create a group. So create group. And the group name for this is going to be admin. And we're going to give it administrator access. Now, you can get a lot more granular on access depending how you want to divvy it out. For us, um, for the simplicity of this lab environment and this course, we're going to use administrator access. But if you were doing this in a production environment, you would be you can get very granular on the access that a specific user has. And that that's ultimately what you want to do. But obviously for this lab environment, we're just learning, it's new. We're just going to use the admin access, but feel free to delve into this and go into it in a bit more detail. Okay, so then we're going to go create group. <clears throat> so we've created the group. So make sure that admin is ticked and then add an user to group, do next for tags. So we're not going to add any tags in this exercise. So we're going to continue to next review. And now that we're in the next review, just have a look. So you've got Terraform, you've got programmatic access. It's going to be an admin and the basically permissions boundary is not set because you're an admin. So it is a very powerful command. Uh, sorry, it's very powerful access. So 
just keep keep this secret. You know, don't let don't share these details with anybody. It's yours. And then we're going to create a user. Okay, so now we have a one-time op um, option to download the keys. So it says here you've successfully created the user shown below. You can view, download the user key credentials, security credentials. You can also email users instructions on signing into AWS Console. This is the last time that these credentials will be available, so we need to download them. However, you can create new credentials at any point. So you can create another user, have the same access, and you'll get another set of credentials. So I'm going to do download CSV and folder. It's actually come over on my other screen. Let me just open that over here and bring it across. Okay, so this is what you see. So for the purposes of this, you can see my keys. In fact, I'm not going to open this up anymore, actually. <laughs> I'll just leave this here. So you can see there's the access key, but the secret key is hidden. So you're going to get your own secret key um, and download your file, keep it safe, because we're going to be using this in the next section when we set Packer up. So we're going to, we're going to download Packer next. We're going to use these keys and put them in the right sort of in the right place locally on our ser on our server, and then when we run Packer, there's a couple of commands because Packer's going to be a be creating an EC2 AMI instance, and we're going to need to be able to talk to AWS using our access and secret key, and that will make that happen for us. So let's back here. Yeah, so there we go. So we have the access and secret key. Keep them safe. Um, let me just right. So. Next here, now that I've downloaded them, I'm going to close this and it will forever never be never be seen again on this screen. So let's close. Is that we now have a Terraform user um, that we will be able to use with Terraform, Packer, and um, anything else that we need. So let's just say we say up, up Ansible to build in AWS or set up some resources, we can use the same set of key and secret key in there. Alright, so that's it for this section. See you in the next video.